Now, sometimes it's not the message, just the messenger. Now, I am trying to hit 1,900 subs before the end of the week. My birthday is Sunday. Help your boy hit 1,900 subs. I think I need about 140 more to do so. That could be your birthday present to me. I appreciate it. Uh, so, yeah, uh, John Moxley, if you don't know, he experienced a concussion like about a, what, about a month ago now, whenever, was that Title Tuesday, I believe, uh, in a match against Ray Phoenix for the inner, what was the Atlantic Championship? The championship that Orange Cassidy made relevant. Give him his props for that. So, uh, yeah, John Moxley got injured very early in that match. It wasn't the spot that everybody thought it was. Um, if you didn't see that match, apparently, like, Apparently, he got injured within the first 30 seconds. Apparently, he got, like, concussed in the first 30 seconds, and the whole match was a blur to him. Everybody thought that it was the power driver because it was such an awkward moment where there was, like, a over-the-shoulder as if, like, you know, Braun Strowman's move where he does the running power slam, except he has him over his shoulder, and he, like, sits out. He, like, sits out with him on the shoulder, and he, like, power drivers him. And he clearly hit his head. He clearly hit his head. We all thought that's where the, the concussion happened. And it's funny, not so funny, but it's funny that the fact that this was supposed to end the match. But, you know, because he got a concussion. John Moxley got a concussion early in the match, so they had to hit an audible. John Moxley was not supposed to lose this match. So when the ref counted the three on the third tap of the mat, he, like, faked out. So he had, so John Moxley had to get power drived again on his head. Granted, he got concussed in the th first thirty seconds of this match. So John Moxley came out and he did an interview, uh, I believe, with the Messenger. Ironically enough, and he came out and said that basically he wants people to, or he wants wrestling to take concussions more seriously. They want to like to be more like football when somebody collapse or has an obvious head injury or show head, uh, signs of a head injury, everything stops. And the play stop, the, you know, game stops, and they tend to the player. They take an injury timeout, if they, you know, or they do the 30-second runoff or whatever, but the game stops no matter what. And, you know, again, the messenger of this doesn't really make sense to me because the same person who – cuts himself every match the same person who's super tough and whatever judge wwe for being overprotective or whatever and the guy who's in the same group the same lead like brian danielson is the co-leader i guess of the blackpool combat club had a whole seizure in a match and refused to stop the match and also brian danielson had to retire from wrestling for about what what from 2015 or 20 yeah about 2015 to 2019 he had to retire for four years due to concussions he had a he suffered a whole seizure in a match and got angry backstage when the match was stopped i like it sounds good it sounds good but when you're in like should everything be stopped yes in the perfect do i think it should be stopped yes do i agree with john moxley when he say there should be somebody who's watching on a monitor who should watch for the signs and stop the match. And all. Yes, 100%. But let's be honest with ourselves. Is John Moxley, do you honestly believe that John Moxley is going to go for that? You know what I'm saying? And I just think it's very ironic that everybody has a problem with, you know, the way CM Punk goes about things. And John Moxley thinks he's the first person to talk about this. No, it was CM Punk. <laughs> CM Punk got z pack to death. Like, it was a, a whole meme, the whole z pack meme. That started from that because CM Punk was z pack to death because they kept giving him z packs for, um, well, no, it wasn't actually for the concussion, but he had to wrestle with a concussion, and he was sick, and he was all messed up. He was all banged up. It wasn't necessarily concussions he was talking about, but just wrestlers' health in general. He said he was dry even after every match. He was he couldn't sleep. He was miserable. And they just Z-packed him to death. And he got sued for that. And also, like, nobody had his back, but now John Mosley thinks he's the first one. He thinks he's, you know, it's just, man, like, <laughs> like I, I'm not trying to give CM Punk credit for saying something obvious, but at the same time, like, to act like you're the first person to to go about talking about this as if CM Punk didn't retire because 
wrestling almost killed him. And, you know, we all act like he took his ball and went home and made everybody's jobs harder and all this and that. No, he's been talking about this for about 10 years now. And that's what he that's what most of the podcast was about. He almost died in wrestling because there's not enough attention shown to these people who I get it. They're supposed to be tough. They're supposed to, you know, the show must go on. Like I remember Sin Cara, now Mystico. I don't think it was that Sin Cara. It's been very many variations of uh, Sin Cara. But he got heat backstage because I think he broke his finger. And, you know, not comparing a broken finger or a dislocated finger to a concussion or a staph infection that CM Punk had. But, you know, like he got heat backstage for that. You know, not everybody's pain tolerance is the same. So, like, where does it stop? You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, a a dislocated finger is way different from, you know, you could get heat for not wanting to continue with a dislocated finger. But, you know, this is different from that. Like, no, we got to treat everybody the same. And don't just speak up when it's just you. You know what I'm saying? And especially, and don't, and especially, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't, don't be a hypocrite. You know what I'm saying? Cuz I don't think Daniel Bryan is going to st- is going to let a match stop because he looks woozy. I j- I don't think John Moxley will either. So it's kind of just like, yeah, it sounds good, but come on, bro. Like I know if you in a world title match, you're not stopping the match. You're not doing that. So it sounds good, but whatever. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. Again, it's my birthday week. You know what I'm saying? Help me hit uh 1900 subs need 140 to do so click that subscribe button for your boy have a beautiful day make somebody smile today sub to act peace and be safe out there man it's getting cold getting icy be safe